Hey guys, what's up? This is Tommy from GI Tactical in Henrico, Virginia. And today I want to do a little unboxing of the newer Elite Force, uh, I believe what they call the Gen 3 1911 Tax. Now, I really can't tell the difference between the two. There might be some improvements, but me personally, I haven't gotten really any info of whether there have been improvements between the last models, like uh, this model and this model, to these models. As far as I can tell, they function the same and they feel the same way as far as uh, shooting goes. But I do know that they've released them in basically two different colorways. So this one's the full black model with the golf ball style grips. And this one's the stainless steel model with the more uh, diamond shaped, uh, diamond pattern grips. So we're just going to unbox both of these. They're pretty much going to be your standard fare as far as Elite Force unboxing goes. We're going to start with the black one real quick. And we're just going to roll through this really quickly because... The packaging for these are pretty much the same. There's really no differences. So out of the box, you get the manual right there. And inside the actual manual, you get the Elite Force sort of card, your little advertising card. Uh, Umarex is a parent company. And then a little card saying if there's any warranty issues or issues with pistol, that's the card you call. But there's your 1911 comes with your standard 14 round magazine, CO2 magazine, your Allen key, and there it is. The fully black 1911 tech. Looks really nice. I was I was always a fan of just more cleaner looking pistols, so this one appeals to me more, a lot more. But yeah, feels the same thing. Feels like the same thing for the most part. No real differences. Alright, we're done with that though. Now we're just going to move on to the stainless steel one which is probably my favorite if I wanted to go for a more flashy look. So this is a stainless steel one. Again, same affair with the manuals and all. Your Allen key. This one actually has a magazine in the gun. Check that out. Standard magazine. And the stainless steel one is right here. So really, it's a really nice one as well. It's a brushed stainless steel, so it has a nice little sheen to it. Not too overly shiny, but shiny enough to make it look a little more elegant. Again, nothing really too different from this one and the other one. But hey, it feels nice. And it looks really nice. And yeah, your standard sights and all that. But that's pretty much the unboxing for you. There's nothing too much different between the unboxing of these ones and the older ones, but I figure I'd do one just in case people are interested. So let me, let, go, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to leave a comment suge for any suggestions or other things we can do videos on, let us know in the bottom. And yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.